Hi booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I am coming to you with uh, another part in my Harlequin bookshelves tour. So in this video today, it's going to be a bit of a shorter one. I am going to be sharing with you the Harlequin heartwarming novels that I own in physical edition. Um, I have a huge Harlequin collection of imprints of the ones from all the different categories from ca uh, the category romance books essentially. A lot of them are, are digital. But I'm going to be doing a separate video at some point. Eventually, once I finish these bookshelves, I'll probably go ahead and do one on my digital collection. So you guys can see that as well. But um, for right now, we're just focusing on the physical ones. So like I said, the Harlequin heartwarming ones, I think I have, what's that, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got 11 books here. It's not very many, but I do not have a big collection of these. But I still, of course, wanted to show them all to you. So we will start off with the oldest one first. Oops, making a big mess here. So we have by Ingrid Weaver. This is Winning Amelia. I have not read this one yet. Um, this is number two in the in the in the series in the imprint. I do not have the first one. I knew, knew need to try and find and get my hands on it. I have not read this one yet. These are quite a bit thicker than the normal books. Than the and they're not. Well, yeah, no, this one is a larger print. So that's probably why it seems a lot bigger. But um, yeah, these are clean and wholesome romances. If that's your jam, then I, like I tell people, check out the, the heartwarming line. The next one I have here is um, Blue Ridge Hideaway by Cynthia Tom Thompson. Thomason. Um, again, one I haven't read yet, but it's got stickers all over the front, which annoys me to no end. But um, it says, all she came for was her $5,000. Armed with a can of pepper spray and fuming mad, Dory Howe is determined to get what's hers from the old con man who fleeced her, even if she has to cut a deal with his ex-cop son. With her brother in jail and no way to pay his lawyer, she's desperate enough to agree to Brett's terms. Desperate and intrigued. So that's what this one is about. Oh, that sounds really good. I have to get to this one. And I believe these are all larger print, which is fantastic, which I love. And again, they're all clean and wholesome romances. The next one is The Husband Show by Christine Rolofsson. This is part of the Willing to Wed series. Clearly it looks like he is a country musician, which I love. Um, she never thought she'd own a bar in the middle of nowhere, Montana. But to Aurora Jones, Willing uh, seemed to be a perfect place to disappear. That is until the producers came to film the Mary Off All the Bachelors reality TV show. And then Jake, um, Jake Hove, long lost brother of her fiance's friend arrived or no, her friend's fiance arrived. So sorry, I didn't tell you this one is number 18 and it's from October of 2013. This is number 39 from April of 2014. So that one sounds really good too. have not, I think there's only one in here that I've actually read. Um, the next one we have is a soldier's promise by Cynthia Thomason or Thomas Thomason. Um, there's the cover on that one. This time, the teacher's learning the lesson in love. Um, Brianna Sullivan has a strict policy about not getting emotionally involved with her students. Yet there's something about the new student, Carrie, and her father that has uh, Brianna breaking all the rules. Oh, that sounds cute. Again, they're all clean. They're all wholesome. They're great. Cover on this one is gorgeous. And I love this author. She is a very, very much a favorite of mine. We have Safe Harbor by Marie Farinella. Um, but if he stays, she's in danger. But if he leaves, um, ooh. all Mike Ryan can tell, uh, can tell her is his name revealing any more to this beautiful stranger would put her in danger. And he's not willing to jeopardize, um, her or her family's safety any more than he already has. Sounds good. Sounds very, very good. And then we have, so that one was number, sorry. That one was number 47 from June of 2014. Then we have this one, which is number 187. So we do quite a jump from June of 2017. And this is The Runaway Bride by Patricia Johns. Another absolutely gorgeous cover on this one. Damsel in Distress or a Veiled Threat. Uh, she left her cheating fiance moments before they were supposed to marry in the society wedding of the year. Now she's stuck in Runt River, Ohio with a broken down car and a tattered wedding dress. And all she wants is a place to hide. And then she meets a handsome mechanic. I love it. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. These all sound so good. Um, this is the only one that I've read, I think. I, and I don't think I've even read the whole thing. I think I got, I was reading this at work a number of years ago. And I think one of my coworkers, I was at in, in the lunchroom and she saw it. And she 
kind of took it and she was reading the back. She was, oh, she was, can I read that? So I think I just let her borrow it and I never actually got it back. So I had to buy another copy of it. Um, but this is number 261 from December of 2018. Christmas at the Prescott Inn by uh, Catherine Perry. There's a kitty cat on the cover and of course it's Christmas. So this one, yes. Um, uh, Emily and her figure skating troupe, uh, trope, troupe, troupe, find themselves homeless until a Christmas miracle lands them at, at, uh, at a quaint inn in New Hampshire. Um, Emily is excited. Then she discovers that the inn's Scrooge-like owner is her ex-fiance, Nathan Prescott. With assistance from a little boy, an adorable cat, and her skaters, Emily helps Nathan find the hope in the season and the hope in their future. This one, I mean, from what I read of it, I really liked it. My coworker, she just told, she did tell me she finished it. She's like, I loved it, and I'll bring you back the book. <laughs> That's why we don't lend out books, right, guys? <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. This is number 309 from December of 2019. In Love by Christmas by Carrie Lynn Webb. This is part of the City by the Bay stories really, really cute. This Christmas, true worlds collide under the mistletoe. All Theo wants for Christmas is a profitable year end and a flawless wedding for his sister. Hiring beautiful but unknown designer Josie is a huge risk, especially when the tailor's reputation is at stake. Josie is sweet, kind, and impossible to resist. But is Josie about to destroy Theo's perfect wedding plan, or is she the answer to his heart's secret Christmas wish? That's how cute. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And then the last one of the main series. So there's, there's like two series here. I'll explain that in a second. This is number 316 from February of 2020. The Firefighter's Vow by Amy Denman. Gotta love a good firefighter story. Fire Chief Tony is stunned that Laura Wheeler wants to become a Cape Pursuit volunteer firefighter. Laura was devastated when her brother died heroically battling a forest fire, but this is her chance to take back control of her life if Tony can put his feelings aside. How can he train her to risk her life when he wants to protect her at all costs? So doesn't that sound great? I love a firefighter story. So yeah, so that one looks cute too. And then the other two that I have here um, are part of, I'm not exactly sure even what this would be called, but it's like Heartwarming did an older series of them and then started re, like, these are like reissued or reprint or something like that. But I believe they're actually older than the books I just showed you. So the first one I have here is, again, number two in the series. Um, and this was published in 2011. When did I say the first one of these ones came out? 2013. So yeah, so this one came out before. And this is Bellport Summer by Laura Abbott. So I don't know whether these are reprints of older stories. Like they had like maybe, you know, clean romances that they decided to kind of put into a reprint. I'm not absolutely certain. Um... But yeah, it says Wholesome Tender Romances, but it's still, it's book number two. And it's listed under the reprint section. Like the Har if you look on Fiction Database and you bring up Harlequin, uh, Harlequin Heartwarming, you get the option for just the Heartwarming line, which is the books I just showed you. Then you also get a, an option for Harlequin Heartwarming reprints. So again, I wonder if these were books that were published in years prior that they have reprinted now into like a Heartwarming line. But then they broke out and did a different heartwarming line. I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't know you guys, but yeah, I do have this one. Um, have you ever ended up in a strange town and felt as if you were home? That's what it says on the back. Really cute. And then this one, I think this was the first, um, heartwarming I ever got. And it is called when he came home by Roxanne Rustlin, which I've read her before and I really like her work. And, um, Dr. Jill Edwards husband has come home to Blackberry Hill just not home to her. Jill and Grant have been separated for over a year now, and while both agree that it was for the best, neither has quite been able to start official divorce proceedings. Just knowing Grant is back in town is confusing and painful and, dare she say, hopeful. So it's about a couple that's already married, and I guess they separate, and it's do they get back together. That sounds delightful. So in this reprint series, this is number 45, um, and I don't know the date on this one. Let me check. Um, this is also 2011. So I, I'm confused. I don't know. You know, like these are both from 2011, but this is number two and this is number 45. So I don't know. Um, or wait a minute. Let me double check that. Okay. So this is copyright 2006. Ah, so this one was originally published in 2006 by Harlequin under the title, A Man She Can Trust. And I don't know. Let's look, shall we, you guys? 
while we're just sitting here chatting, right? Um, bear with me just a second here. Let me go to Chrome. Um, oh, you know what? Let's go to Goodreads. That makes more sense, doesn't it, you guys? Goodreads. Um, a man she can trust. That's what it was called, right? Because I have a feeling that's exactly what these are. These are reprints of other books. A man she can trust. Bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves. It was. It was. It was. It was. I thought so. Roxanne Rustland. She wrote a lot for the special edition line or the super romance line. So there's the original cover. So yeah. So they reprinted them as wholesome, like just so that people would know that these were wholesome stories. So what about this one now? Bellport Summer. Was this republished as something different? Let's see. Um, yes. Uh, original pub originally published as A Summer Place in 2002. So let's check out that one. Uh, do, 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 do. A summer place, place, place. Search. By another Harlequin super romance. I like the cover on this one. Oops. So there's the original cover of that one. So there you go, you guys. Isn't that neat? Okay, see, we all learned something today. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> so these are all reprint editions, and that's why they're called reprint. So I really appreciate that. So if you're looking for ones for the heartwarming line, you know at least they're going to be clean. Um, but yeah, so, and then there's, like I said, the original cover. That is really, really neat, and I kind of love that a lot. Um, and I'm happy that I learned something today, so yay. So anyway, you guys, that's all that I got for this video today. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Starting next Friday we're going to be getting into the historicals. So yay, I have a lot of historicals, a lot of older historicals. I love them so, so much. I should probably get at least two videos out of the historical books that I have. So yeah, we shall see where we end up there. But anyway, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.